Victoria here today um, and I posted a poll on Facebook in my Scrap Your Scraps video or in my Scrap Your Scraps group and also in the December Daily Inspiration group Anything Goes and I asked whether or not people wanted to see a December Daily Supply video and there were a number of you who did so I am going to do one. Um, they're not really my kind of thing, but I know there's those of you out there who want to see what I'm using and want to see where it comes from and like watching the supplies. So I'm going to do one. Hopefully you guys enjoy it if you're watching. Otherwise, if you're not interested, that's okay. I'll have more December daily videos for you coming up because every day during the month of December, I have a new December daily inspiration video coming at you. So I'm just going to move this aside for a second. Um, I am going to show you my supplies. I'm also going to show you kind of how I'm organizing them and kind of talk through a little bit of my process of how I pick these supplies. So the first thing I want to say is I had a bunch of stuff left over from my kits from Allie Edwards December Daily site last year. So if you don't know what December Daily is, it's a project created by Allie Edwards. Um, where you take a photo or you scrapbook every day during the month of December. It's one of my all-time favorite projects of forever. I love that project so much and I'm so excited to be doing it for my third year. So in terms of supplies, what I wanted to say is I got I think three kits last year from Ali's site and I had tons of it left over. So I am going to be using that this year. I got the main kit, the Jasmine Jones kit, and one other one which I can't really think of right now. But I have stuff left over from that so I'm going to use that. This year I decided not to purchase a kit just because none of the kits really like appeal to the style that I want to go with this year. I purchased other things. So, um, I did get some stuff from Ali, so I'm going to use that, but I'm also going to be using some things from the Snow and Cocoa line, which you're seeing here, which is by Crate Paper, which I just adore. It's adorable and super, super cute. I'm also going to be using some things from my Felicity Jean kit. So I got, like... Um, some things from the Felicity Jane Oh Dear kit and I also got some things from the Felicity Jane Hello Christmas kit. So I'm going to be using those two kits plus some Snow and Cocoa things plus just some stash. So what I did was I went through my scrapbooking stash and pulled out any of the things that I thought could work for my December daily this year and then I also combined them with some things that I purchased um, from paper issues, I believe, from the Snow and Kogo collection, and then I'm going to use my um, Felicity Jane kits. So in terms of colors, last year I went with traditional Christmas colors, red and green, gold, black and white. I had little pops of silver, but I went very traditional. The year before that, I kind of did any colors, like anything that worked, anything that I loved. This year, I kind of want to go back to doing colors that I love, but I also want it to still have a Christmassy feel. So, I've decided that this year for my December Daily, I'm going to be doing a black and white theme with pops of color. And the really great thing is that the two kits that I got from Felicity Jane actually really work with that. There's lots and lots and lots of black and white, which I'm so excited about. There is also pink and red and gold, which I'm, I definitely am a gold fan, and silver. I love silver. The one thing that I don't really love in that kit is the green, and it's just because I'm not a green fan. So I've decided I'm going to do something like pretty crazy. I'm not going to use green this year, or I'm going to avoid using it at all costs. So, for example, from this... Hello Christmas kit, which is this one over here, and the Oh Dear kit, which is over here, I'm going to use all the elements that are black, white, pink, and red, but I'm not going to use any of the greens. I might also have some pops of blue or mint in there just because I really love that color, um, and it would feel weird to me to do a project without any mint, but for the most part, I'm going to avoid green. If it comes to something like this card here, where there's a little tiny bit of green, but most of it's not really greeny, I might use something like that. But I'm not going to make too many rules for myself. I just know that I don't really want to use green. 
But the colors that I super duper love are kind of found in the Snow and Cocoa collection, which would be white and black, pink, mint, blues. Those are kind of the colors I like. And then a goldy yellow color like this. So I'm going to show you some of the things that I've pulled out of my stash and also from the kits. Um, this is just a pile of all the cut apart sheets from the Snow and Coco, from the oh, Hello Christmas, from the Oh Dear collection. Those are the sticker cut apart sheets that come in the, the Felicity Jane kits. I pulled those out. There's another one. This is from Hello Christmas. And then these I got last year. I believe they're from the Chamel Christmas collection. And I'm I'm, I'm not going to use all of it because I'm not a big green fan and there is a lot of green. But there were some black and white elements and then some of those blue elements that I thought could work well. So I pulled those cut apart sheets out. And I, I'm again, I'll just pick and choose which ones I think will match with the vibe that I'm going for. I really love whimsical, classic um, styles. So I feel like the Snow and Coco collection is like right up my alley. So those are some of the cut apart sheets. I'm gonna show you some of the embellishments that I have. So I have this tray, which I got from Ikea. It's got one long square here. It's got two smaller, like four by six size pieces here. And then two, like, I wanna say maybe three and a half by four kind of size squares here. So I've sorted my embellishments here. I have some washi tape here and stickers. So I've got rose gold foil tape, this set of Christmas washi tape somebody sent me. I've got these two black and white ones which came from Felicity Jane. I've got this gold one and then also this mint silver one which I kind of just threw in there. In this square I have wood veneer. So these are from previous Felicity Jane kits. This is from the Stamps of Life. Uh, there are some bluish mint ones. Um, there's a whole bunch of wood veneer. These, I actually have a whole thing of these. These can come from Amy Tan. And I thought they would be kind of fun. They remind me of woods and outdoors, which I'm not really an outdoorsy kind of person. But for Summer Daily, I just feel like wood and outdoorsiness kind of goes really well. In this pocket up here I have packaging and I really love doing packaging in my December daily. Things like um, envelopes and things like that. I've got some glassine bags, I've got a whole bunch of tags, shipping labels, this canvas bag. I thought that might be fun to try to figure out a way to include that in my December daily. Um, a bunch of bags and envelopes that came from the um, Felicity Jane oh, Christmas kit. I've got labels, more packaging. This whole bag just has a whole bunch of baggies and labels and stuff like that. These I had were a gift last year from a subscriber. thought those would be fun. And then this is one of the Allie Edwards, I think, story kit envelopes. So I want to try to find ways to incorporate those kind of pieces into my December daily. The next one here has a bunch of other embellishments which I'll show you. I have this, this was just some wrapping paper that I got that I thought was really cute last year so I kept it. Some random stencils. I have a bunch of random stickers from a sticker book that I got at the dollar store. I have some leftover tabs from my December daily kit from Allie last year. Leftover stickers from Felicity Jane, a couple brands. Here's some more of those Amy Tan wood slices. I have a bunch of these Recollections flower. I love those. I have some gold brands, some corner um, stickers. That came from last year's December Daily kit. Again, it's green, so I'm not really sure if I'm going to use that, but I, I pull it out because it's December themed. This floral puffy sticker. I have these Moonstruck 
chip for no what are these cork shapes and they're not Christmassy per se but gold and cork kind of screamed Christmas to me some bows this little um, cork planet it's from freckled fawn which I just had in my stash here's some snow and cocoa wood veneer pieces some more snow and cocoa this is stickers I love snowflakes um, I got the snow and cocoa paper clips which I'm not sure how I'll use these but I just love them so much I might just end up using them in my planner freckled fawn I got those last year probably saw me use some of those last year um, I got these from Felicity Jane as well they're like little stag heads they are a little bee. And so again, some of this is from my stash, some of it's from last year, some of it's from this year. Um, but it, I feel like it just kind of goes with the feeling and the vibe of my collect, my kit this year. Most of it's like black and white with gold and like fun, whimsical little elements. And then in this last pocket here, I have some of the tools that I want to use. So I have some Heidi Swap gold paint, a bunch of stickles in the different colors that I'm using. So I have this one which is called turquoise I have stardust cranberry and gold I have some stamp cleaner some nouveau, nouveau drops in pink because I feel like every December daily should have pink in it I have some white gesso just because I figure I might want to use it so it's better to have it out and then I have some just glitter from Michaels that I use on my cover and also in some of my sugar pockets which you probably have already seen. I've got some sewing um, guides in here because I want to try to remember to use those and I feel like if they're out and on my desk there's more likelihood that I'll use them. So that's the main box of embellishments and then I have a whole bunch of little like jars and little containers and stuff here for my other embellishments so I have this one wood bowl with a bunch of gold glittery stars and this came those stars came from Michaels this wood bowl has a bunch of vellum and acetate pieces and some of them are just from my stash some of them are from the Felicity Jane kits and then I think some of these are from last year's December Daily Kit. Like those stars might be from last year or the, the year before probably actually. Um, these are from Felicity Jane. And then there were just some that I had in my, my stash. Like this arrow that I thought might work. Or I don't know, just some random pieces from my stash that you might see pop in. The truth is if I don't use them, it's okay. I'll just put them back in my stash where they were, but it's better than nothing. And I think if I have them out, then it might be useful. I might use them. In this jar, I have a bunch of bells, which some of them were in the Felicity Jane kit and some of them I got from Michaels. And the other thing that you'll find in this jar is a bunch of pom-poms, which were from the Snow and Cocoa collection, which were like blues, white pink and then this fun like goldish yellow one so I want to try to find a way to use those maybe in a shaker pocket and the bells too so I just kind of stuck those all in there in this jar I have a bunch of flare and what I did was I went through all of my flare and I just pulled out anything and everything that was black white pink mint um, or Christmassy so <clears throat> most of these, the small ones especially, come from Felicity Jane kits, either the two Christmas ones or past ones. There's a couple pieces in here, these ones, which come our doodles by Brandy Kincaid, not that one, our doodles from Brandy Kincaid um, that came in the, there's one more, I'm not sure which one it is that came in the Calm and Bright kit that um, Brandy did with Feed Your Crafts. Oh, I forgot to mention them. I am using their stuff for my December Daily this year too. 
So there's a whole bunch of flair. For numbers this year, I decided to go consistent. Last year I did tags that were all different. The year before I did different numbers every day. And I realized that I kind of like the idea of having the same numbers um, so that they're easy to find. So I'm gonna use these ones that came in the Felicity Jane Hello Christmas kit. And they're just white on chipboard. And I figure I can do different things with them, but they'll all look the same and it'll be easy to tell where each day of the week is. One of the things I really love about them is they're small, so they don't take up a ton of space. The tags that I used last year, the mixed media ones, I love them, but they were big, right? Like they're a full size tag, so sometimes it was difficult to find a way to incorporate them. So I'm excited to use something like this that is not gonna take up a ton of space, but is gonna work well. Uh, in this container, I have a whole bunch of different die cuts and stuff that I just grabbed from my stash, and I'm not going to go through them all, but basically, I just, when I was going through my stash, I have all of my embellishments color-coded, and I just pulled out anything that was black, white, gold, red, pink, or that matched like the Christmas feel. So, so there's some things in here that I that aren't necessarily like um, the right colors, but they are Christmassy. And then there are a couple of die cuts and like even these like tissue paper circles that came in the Felicity Jane kits. And I just kind of threw them all in there and I figured that way I can kind of just go around and look through them and play. In this basket, I have a bunch of just random embellishments that were kind of chunkier and bigger. Um, and they're, I would say they're all from my stash. This is a tag that I got on a present last year. But there's some frames, um, some bows. There's a couple of the bows that came in the Felicity Jane kit. So I purchased this at Felicity Jane. Those two bows came from uh, the kit. There's a, oh, this is supposed to be there. They're basically all of the bigger, thicker embellishments that I pulled out that I thought would match the colors. And then this jar is probably my favorite jar of them all. In here, I have put all of the rubber pieces and acrylic pieces um, that I had pulled out. So the Felicity Jane kits came with a bunch of acrylic pieces. Um, like these ones, and they came with a lot of rubber pieces too, so all of those are there. I also have some rubber pieces like these ones that came in previous kits. Um, I have these little metal tag things. I can't even remember where these came from, but I got those probably last year or the year before. Some of the rubber pieces come from last year's December Daily Kit. These ones, these colorful ones here, I believe came, they're from Alley Site. They came in a uh, Week in the Life kit. These snowflakes are probably my favorite. I got those from Felicity Jean. There's some things in here from Freckled Fawn. Like those ones. I don't know, there's just a bunch of different random pieces in here that I thought would work well that I had either grabbed from my stash or which came in the kits that I purchased this year or last year. Um, so they are all in there. And this is probably my favorite jar. So I'm, I'm thinking when I'm scrapbooking, this will probably be the first one that I go to just because it's got the best things in it. Um, I have a bunch of sequins. Um, and buttons that I pulled out from my stash. Basically, what I decided to do was to put everything in my stash away and only pull out the things that I thought would match my color scheme for this year. So gold, black, pink, mint, any of those kind of things I pulled out and I put them on my desk here so that they're easy to find, they're easy to see, and I remember to use them because I definitely want to try to use my stuff. A um, couple more things to show you. This is how I'm storing all of my pocket squares, Project Life cards and stuff. Um, I have two wood-mounted stamps, 
one that says have yourself a Merry Christmas and one that's a Christmas tree. I hate wood mounted stamps. They take up so much space. But I really like these two so that's why I kept those ones but I don't have any other wood mounted stamps except for those ones. And then I've got tons of 3x4 cards, tons of 4x6 cards. I'm not going to show them all to you but I just want to point out where some of them come from. I have a bunch of them that are the printables that I designed so that's what like all of those ones are and if you didn't see that I designed a whole bunch of printables for free you can find them on my blog to download so I definitely want to use the printables that I designed. I have some cards and stuff that came from my good friend Heather and her business owner Susie with her. These come from Wild Whisper. I have old Felicity Jane cards and new ones. I have stuff from last year's December Daily. Let's see if I can find some of those things in here. I also have some things from last year and this year's kits that were doodles by Brandy Kincaid. There's another one here um, that I am going to use. This is one that I had last year that I made into a shaker pocket but didn't end up using, which is so sad because I love this. It's like only a hippopotamus will do. It's so cute. So I pulled those out. I also have... Um, just a bunch of different cards like that I've had for a while like I think some of these are Studio Calico so they're like over two years old but I just kind of had them in my stash so I wanted to pull them out and try and use them basically I pulled out anything that was black white gold pink red or mint or Christmassy and even some of the like shaker pockets and things that I like created last year which I never actually got around to using but I want to try and use them this year. I, these two have green in them, so I probably won't use them. But this one, for sure. Look how cute that is. Like, why not use that? And then it's kind of the same thing for all of the 4x6 cards. There's a whole bunch here that were ones I created last year. You can see the videos for how I created those. I've got some acetate ones. I've got some just for my stash. Some old calendars that I figured I could cut up. I've got a bunch of the printables that I designed in here. That's what those are. Um, and I have the doodles from Feed Your Crafts and Brandy Kincaid. Which are those ones. Slow down the season. That is so cute. Little sloth. So those are in there so that I'll try and use them. And again, there's like way more there than I would ever get around to using. Some of them are Christmassy, some of them aren't, so not all of them will get used. I have way more paper than could actually ever get used, so I know that I'm <laughs> be making a number of Christmas projects. I'm going to be making some Christmas cards um, and also have an idea for a present for my grandma and for my mom. So there's a lot of paper here, but I'm not going to go through it all because I've done unboxing kits for all of those. What I did want to say is that some of the paper, just quickly tell you where it comes from. Some of the paper comes from the Felicity Jane Oh Dear kit and from the Felicity Jane um, Christmas kit. I've got some of the printables that I designed in there. I have some papers from Wild Whisper from that blog hop that I did. I've got old papers from my stash that I thought would work. Those are Felicity Jane. Um, some like this is really old. This is Studio Calico, so I've had that for a while. This is crepe paper. I've got some papers from the Marion Bright American Crafts paper pad that I had last year. I have some Christmas papers that were sent to me last year. This is last year's collection. This is Simple Stories Cozy Christmas from last year. 
just kind of pulled it out. It doesn't really match the theme that I'm going with this year, but I thought if I put all my Christmas papers in one place, then I might be able to use them for um, Christmas cards. Some more for this year. So that's where all the papers come from. Also grabbed these two paper pads. This one is Christmassy and this one's not. This is the Snow and Cocoa paper pad, so it's definitely Christmassy, Winter, December Daily E, and it fits the color scheme that I'm going with for sure. This one I just pulled out because I love it so much and I want to try to use it, and I just got it in the mail, so I didn't want to wait till January to use it. This is the Pink Paisley Take Me Away collection by Paige Evans, and it's not necessarily Christmassy, but there are some of the colors that I'm using this year in this kit. So, for example, red is there. There's also like yellowy gold. There's pink, which I'm definitely going to be using, and mint. And I just thought some of these, like this one here has all these like cross stitchy things. It feels very wintry to me. It feels like it could be winter. So... I'm gonna see if I can use this, otherwise I'll just pull it out just so I can look at it. <laughs> I have two more things to show you. The next one I have is this um, memory, this is called Mimi, Memories in Motion International folder with a bunch of different specialty kind of things. So in this first pocket, I have a bunch of scraps that are Christmassy, so they're just in there. In the next one, I have six by eight papers, and these ones are Feed Your Crafts and Brandy Kincaid's Doodles, which just, I love them. This is probably one of my favorites, so that's gonna find its way in there. Here's a pocket that I made last year that I didn't end up using, so I thought I might use that. And then all of these papers are from last year and the year before's December Daily Kits by Allie Edwards. Oh, that's Feature Crafts. But the rest of these are... That's Feature Crafts, too. This is last year's Feature Crafts kit. Um, so I pulled these out thinking I could use them, and they're already cut down to 6 by 8 Some of them, I just, like, looking at them, I know I'm not going to use it because I'm not going to use orange. But, like, this clink clink one could work. And, like, the, the Jasmine Jones handwriting is just stunning. So I want to try to find ways to incorporate those kind of things. So the 6 by 8 papers are there, and I kind of sorted them out because I figured they're all ready, ready to go in my album. And for days when it's a little busier and I don't have a lot of time, it will work perfect. The next pocket has a ton of acetate because I have a love affair with acetate and vellum. Some of them, I don't even know where it came from. I think this must be something, it's Christmassy, so maybe from last year's December Daily. There's some We Are Memory Keepers acetate in there. These two were from Allie Edwards, December Daily last year. One wonderful time. I've got some old Studio Calico that I got from Michaels a long time ago. The Silver Star paper. These transparencies, which are also from Studio Calico, they have like wording on them, but it's like the best ever last drop sparkle and f fires and I don't know. I've had it in my stash a long time. Gold polka dot. That's recollections. I've got this gold vellum. It's kind of dictionary paper, and that's from Recollections. I've got this gold vellum, or gold acetate. This is also Recollections. And I believe this is crepe paper. So I pulled out all of my acetate, because I want to try to use acetate this year, and vellum for dividers and stuff. And then I've got a whole bunch of vellum. So this is Recollections. Studio Calico, Recollections, Studio Calico, Recollections. A lot of it's from Michaels because that's where I can mostly find my acetate. That's Seven Paper. I think that's Crate Paper, Recollections, Studio Calico. So there's just lots of goodies, 
acetates and vellums and stuff in there. My hope is to try to use it vellum and acetate almost every day in my thing just because last year when I look back it's some of my favorite things. So I've kept that in there and then I have some paper here that's scraps but it's bigger pieces so I can cut those down into six by eight or whatever. I have a bunch of cardstock here of different colors. These came from the Felicity Jane kits or past Felicity Jane kits. And then in the very back, I just have some gold paper um, that I thought might be fun to use. And the very last thing I wanna show, oh, no, I lied. There's two more things I wanna show you. I have this bag here, which I put all of the different like fibers and ribbons and lace and I mostly just went through my stash and pulled out anything that was red, white, black, gold, or pink. And then I also just stuck the things from the Felicity Jane kits in here as well. I think there might be some trims and stuff from last year's December Daily kit as well from Allie. So I just kind of stuck those all in there and pulled them out. I have lots of ribbon. I have a whole drawer of it which I need to try and use it more often, but I figured if I pulled out all the ones that match my color scheme, then there's a better chance I'll use them. And the last box that I wanna show you is this one. Um, I just, in here, I just have the last few things. I have all of these um, masking tape ribbon, masking tape like washi tapes, and these all come from Allie's site, if I'm correct, I think. Um, from past December daily kits. So I just got some thick ones there that have a whole bunch of words and then some thinner ones, which I really love those. I've used them in the past in my December dailies and they're really fun. They just take up a lot of space. I've got a whole bunch of letter stickers and alphas here. These come from Felicity Jane. I basically just grabbed out any that came in the kits or any that I thought would match the mint black gold red kind of thing and then the last side over here is just some like layering pieces which I thought would be fun there's some tissue papers and then these things which I got at a boutique here in Toronto they're just like different like fibers and fun tissue papers that have like designs and stuff on them they're really light but I thought that they are really pretty for layering and I want to try to find ways to incorporate these kind of things into my December daily just because they're so gorgeous. I'm pretty sure they're like Japanese papers. So, but they're not really papers. They're more like laces and fabrics and stuff. And like some of them even look like snowflakes almost. Like I feel like this kind of looks like a snowflake. Anyway, so I just stuck those in there to try to remember to use them. So that is my December daily supplies. These are my embellishments and papers and all the good things that I can't wait to play with. I'm so excited for December to start and so excited to start working on my December daily book and to be sharing it with you guys because every day during the month of December I'm going to have a new video up for you guys. And I know a lot of you are really excited about it. I've had a lot of people messaging me to be like, when are you going to start? Are you going to do it again this year? Which I definitely am. And I can't wait to get started and start playing. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, let me know. I, I couldn't tell you where everything came from. And I didn't show you everything because we would be here for like six hours if I showed you each detail. But if you have any questions, let me know. Leave a comment below. Um, I would love to know what are you using this year for your December dailies. Are you using Felicity Jane? Are you using the Feed Your Craft Brandy Kincaid stuff? Maybe you're using some of the gorgeous stuff from Wild Whisper or from Studio Calico or you're using um, something else. Let me know. Maybe you're using Snow and Cocoa. Oh, I love that collection. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow for another December daily video. And I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.